Hello guys and welcome back to Tricky Carping. This episode I'm bringing you down to Orchid Lakes which is in Oxfordshire which is actually around four and a half hours away from my house, around 250 miles. So it's been a long drive down but we're here. Um, this is a 17 acre, 17 and a half acre lake and the deepest point being around seven feet and the shallowest to about four, three and a half. Uh, so yeah looking forward to uh, finding some features and having a look about getting the drone up see what we can find see what we can do with it really but it's looking good we're in we're in actually the log cabin so uh, yeah i'm looking forward to it if you do enjoy the videos guys please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and hit that little bell icon so you get a notification and don't forget to try and find me on instagram at tricky carping and also on facebook at tricky carping Thank you all for your support, it means a lot. Hopefully, get a good video going here and show you a few fish on the bank again. Well, we've literally been here about five minutes. Just seen a couple of fish showing, so I shot a single hook bait straight to it on a wafter. Oh, it's just bounced off its fin. Literally been here five minutes, first rod in. I've not even got the bed set, I've got nothing else set up. And we're into a fish straight away. Mm. Ricky Park closest to you. I can't believe this, can you? A nice common. This is really dirty. Get in. Get in. That was a good start. Mm. I don't even know what time it is. Literally been here a couple of minutes, haven't we? Yeah. That hook's in there, so that's good. Well, Rod was in the water literally five minutes. Pulled out this lovely common just to a showing fish we've just seen splashing around. So, chucked a single look bait to it, little bright wafter, and literally two seconds later, the rod, the rod was off. So, just under 20 pound. Cracking way to start a session. Hopefully, the rest of it goes like this. But.
不到。Sure. That is what they've done the damage for that fish. Little IQD rig. And a little yellow after. So we got here this morning. It was took us around four, just over four hours to get here. It's 250 mile trip from where we're at. And managed to get one rod set up and I just thrown it straight out to a showing fish and within a couple of minutes it had gone um, so I put that rod back out started towards another showing fish that I'd seen and then I'm just going to get the rods back out now um, we put the drone up we've seen a, just in front of us maybe around 50 yard mark there's a couple of nice spots we've seen a few carp flanking um, and a few carp just generally hiding out and waiting about so get a bit of bait out in them spots um, I've obviously just put the single up bait back out on one spot and the second spot I found I've spotted a bit of corn out and I've gone for a three and a half ounce flat pair on a size 4 IQ D rig with four bits of corn topped off with a pop up corn so hopefully it'll sit in the water just like a wafter um, hopefully that can get us another bite We'll see how we get on. Yeah. So this is just a little bit of bait prep I'd done a few days prior to going down to Orchid. What I'd done is I've got five kilos of boilies, I'd hung them out in the garden to air dry for 24 hours. Then I put around three kilos in the Ridge Monkey and grind them right down to crumbs. I then chopped around one kilos into half chops and then about another kilo just left as full boilies. Then when I got to the lake, I added a little bit of plug and also a little bit of sweet corn just to give it that edge. So after not seeing any action last night in L-shaped swim, we've decided to get up this morning and move around into Alamo swim. Got the drone up straight away, found a few likely looking spots. Um, took the drone right above the spots and we could see that they were perfectly clean gravel patches which was perfect for us to fish on and get some bait presented then you wouldn't believe what we've seen next just lurking on one of the spots was quite a large pike then shortly after seeing the pike was a swan chasing a bait boat not something you see every day in one video So, got the rigs made up, um, what I've put on is three IQD rigs, two with dumbbell wafters on um, and one with two pieces of corn like I showed you yesterday, um, two with distance leads on to get them out of the distance, yeah hopefully that should uh, do the damage I'm going to spot out over the top. In the drone could save hours on the bank of leading out and finding the right spots by hovering the drone above any spot you would like to fish all I have to do is aim for the drone and hit the spot as best as possible once I've hit the spot all I need to do is make myself a far bank marker which in this case was a fallen tree so all I had to do was put the reel in its clip wrap up count the clips and then aim directly for the fallen tree and I would hit the spot exactly every time this also applied for my spotting so I knew 100% I was fishing with accuracy over a good spot all that was left to do now was get all three rods out on the spots and hopefully something would come along to play ball well that's all three rods on fishing on good ground I'm comfortable, I'm happy with all three rods. I've shown on the drone footage that I found solid bottoms, leaded them out, absolutely rock hard. So I've put my right hand rod and middle rod on the spot out in the middle and the left hand rod down in the margin. Um, I've put about 10 spots 
on the long rods, which are um, 21 wraps, so just over 100 yards. And the one in the margin is only at eight wraps. So I'm happy with them. It's just started raining now. We're meant to get a serious thunderstorm today, so I think I'll get myself in the hut behind me and uh, take shelter. Hopefully, something will come along. Is it? I'm over here with camera. This is on corn. Is it? Well, it was an absolute blistering tear. This was the corn rig with the two bits of pop up corn. It's just starting to rain as well. Feels like a good fish. Get off, tricky lad. Get off. That's a big fish, Jack. You know. It doesn't look big by that dorsal. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. That tail fin is massive. It looks dark. It looks dark. I'll tell you that one. Damage, corn. This for a stunner. Twenty-five pound on the nose, caught on the sweet corn. Beautiful condition. Common. Well, it does not want to stay still. So, come on, come on. I think we should get this one back. Get in. 
She's only going slowly, she's sitting at margin. She'll be away in a minute. Well, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. 25 pound common in pristine condition, real old warrior. So I've put some fresh corn back on the um, rig, I put a fresh IQ deer rig on, and I've put it back on the spot right on the money. I've put another maybe four or five spots of sweet corn straight over the top of it, and I've just recast my left hand rod, which wasn't on that spot, to a fish that I've seen topping out in the middle. Um, we're getting closer to that 30 pound mark hopefully we can get another one on the night uh, through the night but we are off at nine o'clock in the morning so just see how we get on but things are looking good I was confident in my swims last night, but unfortunately, nothing's come of them. Um, I was kind of expecting a bite, to be fair. I was just feeling it. Um, nothing's happened, so it's that time now. I've pulled the rods in. I've already pulled two, and just the last one to go. Uh, thank you all for watching again. If you do, if you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the little bell icon so you get a notification. And don't forget to try and find me on Instagram at Tricky Carping and on Facebook at Tricky Carping. Thank you all again, for guys, for watching. Peace out. See you next time.